when it comes to squeezing the most out of modern hardware, whether for creative work, development or gaming. Choosing the right Linux distribution is crucial. High performance distros typically include optimized kernels, reconfigured drivers and tools aimed at reducing latency and maximizing resource utilization. In this video, we will explore number 1 PopOS, a polished Ubuntu based distro by System76, optimized for GPU support and workflow efficiency. Number 2 CatchOS, an Arch based distribution with aggressive performance tuning and a cutting edge kernel. Number 3 Ubuntu Studio, an Ubuntu flavor tailored for multimedia production with low latency kernel. Number 4 Gerudo Linux, an Arch derived rolling release featuring Zen optimized kernels and a variety of desktop environments. Number 5 Nobara Linux, a Fedora based gaming focused distro that ships with proprietary drivers and multimedia packages out of the box. By the end of this video, you will understand which distros aligns best with your needs, whether you are a gamer, content creator or developer, and how each one achieves its performance advantages. Let's start with the number one, PopOS. PopOS is developed and maintained by System76 a hardware manufacturer known for its Linux-first laptops and desktops. Built on Ubuntu, PopOS uses a customized GNOME environment called Cosmic, designed to prioritize productivity through features like auto-tiling, initiative workspace management, and keyboard-driven navigation. PopOS ships in three ISO variants one for Intel or AMD GPUs, another pre-configured with NVIDIA drivers, and a special Popeye release for Raspberry Pi 4 or 400 users, ensuring full out-of-the-box GPU support across the board. Now let's talk about key performance features included. First, the Auto-Tiling Window Manager, Cosmic, automatically arranges windows minimizing manual resizing and maximizing screen real estate. This yields a more fluid workflow and has been praised for increasing efficiency, especially on large displays. Number 2. Hybrid Graphics Mode PopOS integrates an easy toggle in the system menu for switching between integrated and discrete GPUs. Users and laptops can effortlessly switch from Intel's iGPU for battery savings to NVIDIA's discrete GPU when launching demanding applications or games. Number 3. Built-in Power Profiles System76 collaborates with Intel's Clear Linux team to develop a power management package. Users can choose battery saving or performance modes optimizing CPU P states and other settings without tweaking. Now finally, the package availability. PopOS uses Ubuntu's repositories plus its own PopShop GUI supporting APT and Flatpak. It includes pre-built packages for TensorFlow and CUDA, enabling machine learning and GPU accelerated workloads straight away. Furthermore, System76 is actively developing a standalone Rust-based desktop environment to replace Cosmic, promising even lower memory overhead and faster startup times in future releases. Now, number 2, which is Catchy OS. Catchy OS is an Arch-based performance-focused distribution designed to extract maximum speed from modern hardware. It's built around the Linux 6.14 and later kernel series, often patched for low latency, and ships with the KDE Plasma desktop by default. Though other flavors, example GNOME XFCE, are available with similar optimizations. Now, 
performance optimizations include first zen kernel and kernel tweaks out of the box kgos runs a zen optimized kernel which applies real time scheduling patches gpu frequency governor tweaks and aggressive io scheduling to reduce latency and improve responsiveness especially beneficial for lan gaming video editing or compiling large code bases number 2 btrfs by default with snapshots catchy os uses btrfs for its root file system snapshots are managed via the lamen bootloader allowing instant rollback after faulty updates this ensures stability without sacrificing performance gains from copy on write which is cow features and transparent compression number 3 proton catchy os for gaming the distribution includes a custom proton build which is proton catchy os based on proton 10 enabling higher compatibility and frame rates when running windows games on steam proton number 4 chaotic aur and prebuilt kernels by default the chaotic aur repository is enabled granting access to the latest aur packages and multiple kernel versions example zen mode liquorex users can seamlessly switch kernels via a simple gui tool finding the best fit for their cpu and workloads the rolling nature of catchy os means you are always on the bleeding edge but its maintainers frequently patch and test updates to minimize breakages if you are comfortable with arch ecosystem and want an ultra responsive system without manual setups catchy os is an excellent choice now number 3 Ubuntu Studio is an official Ubuntu flavor tailored for multimedia content creation audio video and graphics by shipping with a low latency kernel and a suit of pre-installed creative applications the low latency kernel is optimized to allow real time scheduling of audio and video process significantly reducing its runs which are buffer underruns in jack based audio production and yielding glitch free recording sessions now salient features included first low latency rt kernel ubuntu studios default kernel linux low latency is configured to let audio threads prompt other process reducing latency down to single digit milliseconds producers working with dos which is digital audio workstations such as order lmms or reaper benefit from minimal buffer sizes without crackles number 2 pre configured jack and pulse audio integration out of the box ubuntu studio uses the ubuntu studio controls tool which provides an easy interface to configure jack which is audio connection kit pulse audio bridging and midi backend settings no manual jack routing setup is required saving hours of configuration from newcomers number 3 comprehensive suit for creative software included by default are industry class tools like order which is daw blender which is for 3d gimp or krita for graphics Kiran Live or OpenShot for video editing and OBS Studio for streaming or recording. This curated software stack ensures out of the box readiness for content creation on day one. Now, number 4, Studio Installer for customization. If you begin with regular Ubuntu, which is 24.10 or 25.04, you can use the Ubuntu Studio Installer to add only the low latency kernel and creative apps you need avoiding unneeded packages this modular approach streamlines system footprints while preserving performance ubuntu studio 
also benefits from Ubuntu's 9 months interim releases. Example, Studio 25.04 Plucky Puffin with GNOME 48 and improved triple buffering, making graphical performance snappier on fractional refresh displays. For audio professionals, Ubuntu Studio remains one of the most stable, performance-oriented out-of-the-box solutions. Now, number 4, which is Garuda Linux. Garuda Linux is an Arch derivative built around performance, aesthetics, and ease of use. It features a rolling release model, which is Pac-Man plus chaotic AUR, VTRFS with automatic snapshots, and a suite of custom tools, which is Garuda Assistant, Garuda Settings Manager, Garuda Gamer. The flagship edition uses the dragonized KDE Plasma Spin with a Zen optimized 6.13 plus kernel, designed for low latency and improved responsiveness. Now, performance highlights include Number 1. Zen kernel and scheduler tweaks. Garuda's default Garuda kernel is patched with the Zen project's optimizations, adjusting CPU scheduling parameters, prompt settings, and BFQ I.O. scheduling. These adjustments help applications, especially rendering or gaming, get prioritized CPU timing, smoothing out frame rates and responsiveness. Number 2. BTRFS Snapshots and Rollbacks The file system is BTRFS by default. With snappier handling, snapshots. This allows users to revert to an earlier system state after installing updates that cause regressions, offering safety net confidence without disabling performance enhancements. Number 3. Garuda Tools and GUI for Tweaks First will be the Garuda Settings Manager. Easily switch kernels, configure CPU profiling, and toggle between power or hardware profiles without terminal commands. The second one will be the Garuda Assistant, which is Rani. A unified hub introduced in the Broadwing release, combining multiple utilities, which is Welcome, Gamer, Tweaks, into a single GUI. It simplifies driver installation, AUR management, and system cleaning. Now, number 4. Multiple editions for diverse needs. Available flavors include KDE Plasma, which is dragonized, Mocha with Cappuccino theme, Gnome, XFCE, Cinnamon, i3, Sway, Hyperland, and specialized gamer editions, preloaded with Steam Proton and performance tweaks. This ensures you can pick a desktop environment best matched to your hardware and personal preferences without starting from scratch. Because Garuda is a rolling release, you receive the latest GPU drivers, kernel improvements, example Zen 6.14, Plasma 6.3 Plus, and desktop enhancements continuously. While it carries the inherent risk of bleeding edge updates, the powerful snapshot system and active community mitigate potential issues, making Garuda one of the fastest, most polished, arch-based distro on the market. Now, number 5. Nobara Linux. Nobara Linux, formerly Nobara Project, is a Fedora-based distribution created by Thomas Creedel, which is Glorious Eggroll, the developer behind Proton GE. Its focus is on providing an out-of-the-box gaming and multimedia experience by bundling proprietary drivers, codec packages, and user-friendly fixes that Fedora omits. As of version 42, Nobara transitioned to a rolling release under DNF-based updates ensuring continuous access to the latest kernels, which is 6.15 plus, Mesa, and GPU drivers. Now, key performance and convenience features include Number 1. Pre-installed gaming stack 
Nobara ships with wine dependencies, OBS Studio, and Steam related packages. Example Proton GE, Lutris, DXVK. Ready for immediate use. Users don't need to hunt down RPM Fusion or third party repos to get basic gaming functionality. Number 2 Driver Manager and GPU Profiles. A custom driver manager, GUI, allows quick switching between NVIDIA's closed source driver versions, which is stable beta production, and the open source Novao driver. This flexibility optimizes performance for AAA titles and VR workloads without command line hustle. Now, number three optimized kernel patches. While built on Fedora's kernel, Nobara applies patches for improved gaming performance, such as enabling BFQ I.O. scheduling defaults and adjusting CPU governor behavior to performance mode during gameplay sessions. These tweaks reduce input latency and stabilize frame rates under heavy GPU load. Number 4. Default Browser and Performance-Oriented Defaults Nobara 42 replaces Firefox with Brave as the default browser. Chosen for its faster engine and reduced resource usage, which can help free up CPU or GPU cycles for demanding applications. It also includes tweaks for OS3 rollback points, ensuring a quick recovery path if an update breaks gaming compatibility. Number 5. Flatpak and OS3 integration. Besides RPM, which is DNF, Nobara integrates Flatpak and OS3 support to allow sandboxed application installations and atomic system upgrades, further enhancing system stability and modularity without sacrificing performance. For gamers and creative users who want a near Fedora experience, but with all essential proprietary components included, without manual configuration, Novara Linux stands out as a polished high performance option. Now, finally, the conclusion. Choosing the right high performance Linux distribution depends on your specific use cases. PopOS is ideal if you want a blend of GPU optimized workflows, auto tiling, and easy power profiles toggles, especially if you use System76 hardware or NVIDIA GPUs. Catchy OS is for Arch enthusiasts seeking aggressive out of the box performance, PTRF snapshots, and gaming ready tweaks. Ubuntu Studio targets multimedia professionals needing a stable, low latency environment with a comprehensive suite of creative tools. Garuda Linux combines breathtaking visuals, Zen kernel optimization, and BTRFS rollback safety in a rolling release Arch ecosystem. Nobara Linux offers a Fedora base with all essential gaming and multimedia package pre-installed, minimizing setup friction. Which distro aligns best with your workflow? If you are a coder or a power user, PopOS or CatchyOS might suit you. Content creators may gravitate toward Ubuntu Studio, while gamers and enthusiasts could pick Nobara or Garuda for their performance-tuned kernels and driver support. Ultimately, exploring these distros, perhaps via live USB or virtual environment, will help you experience firsthand how each leverages kernel optimizations, driver configurations, and custom tools to deliver a snappy, responsive system. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.